Got to be eggs on toast. But not white bread? No. Nah. Tip top, tip okay. top. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's... get yourself well, some good sourdough or some rye or something like that. You know, take yourself Sorry, to a good cafe. I'm just trying to look for more sponsors for you. <laughs> it's a gold coast. It's a gold coast. It's a gold coast. In the words before monkey, primal chaos reign. <laughs> Hey viewers, this podcast is brought to you by Koala Karma, the chill out drink. Sit back, relax, and this is a secret episode where maybe we're f- recording it from the future uh, because you guys don't know yet that Murray Goodwin just qualified for the 400 meters sprinting running um, event in the Commonwealth Games. So we were super. Lucky that Lou Ferguson from Recovery Bar could send her down to us. And and this is our episode. Over to you. Hey, hey, before I do that, I want to thank everyone who subscribes. I really want to um, ask you to rate and review this show. And check us out on Patreon. If you want to uh, help me pay for uh, Rika, Matt G and Aaron. Um, I'd really appreciate it, but we don't even do it for the money. It's just like, uh, man, we're at it for two years and we never asked for sponsors ever. So again, I want to thank you for listening and here's our show. Episode 100 and 197 uh, of this podcast show over to you, Murray Goodwin. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Rick, look at you. I like it when you got your fringe, fringe like that. Yeah. Have, did, did you hear that me, the burp? I just burped straight in. Five, first five seconds. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode, episode 197. 197. Of a podcast show. Yeah, I know. It's Three kicking more. on. But we were supposed to <laughs> organise a, a big boat cruise for our 200th episode. And? But it's, it's just, <laughs> whoa, that surprise, happens. surprise. I haven't done anything. I want to say hello to Matt G, photography in the corner. I want to say Aaron Brunner, um, who would be filming this episode. Um, but uh, it's top secret. But it's top secret. And we'll get to that a bit later. But yep. um, yeah, Rick of Waters, yep. how are you feeling? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something smart yeah? to say when you... What have you done you with do your that? fringe? Was it sort of um, blonde or something? What's going on? No, it's shorter. What do you think about Asian chicks with blonde hair? It just does something to me heaps. Something good? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> my wife, my wife's Japanese, right? Uh, and we met, she, she was surfing, re- when, when she met really brown to the b- point yeah. of being purple with blondish hair and like just take me back to that moment, you know? Yeah. So please bleach it. Just come on and be, she, no, she just won't. So you're my next best yeah. thing, Rico. <laughs> Sorry to creep you out. <laughs> <Here I am. laughs> hey, let's get back in the game. You know, can I tell you why? Why? Today, <gasps> on today's episode, yes, we have another champion in the room. His name is Murray Goodwin. Put it there, mate. Hello, mate. Can I tell you something? Oh. Okay, I can reveal it now because we're not going live to tape. Yeah. But from what I and we know of you, mm. you have just qualified. To do, the, you're running, you're a sprinter. Yeah, that's right. Right, for yep. the 400 metres for the Commonwealth Games. Yay. That's. Gold Coaster, yeah? Yeah, Gold Coast, Gold Coast born and bred. Yeah, my uh, my uh, old olds went to uh, Miami High and even as well. So we've been around here for a while. Wow. That's yeah. nuts, man. So so you just won the Australian, uh, what is it? The 400 metre championship, uh, the 400 metre distance at the um, national championships, which were, um, yeah, just held out there at Carrara uh, Metricon. Yeah. Um, and it's, um, yeah, all, like all of us athletes are pretty lucky. You know, they, um, it's a brand new track that they're using for the Commonwealth Games. So it's never been run on before. Literally the first time people would step foot on it was um, the first event of the, the national championship. So, um, yeah, hu- huge, huge bars out there. Absolutely huge to be on the track and, and uh, getting to compete on, on what will be, 
you know, the, probably right. the, the athletics is, yeah. is generally one of the big events of, the, of any championship. So, yeah. So, are you a gun in your... I mean, obviously you are. Like, what, what kind of events... You know, if we get a boxing star in here, like, he's had 10 fights and, yep. you know, like, you, you build up to... To being the king, like you know, how, how old are you? You're young, mate. No, no, I'm, I'm, the, I've, uh, mate, I'm the, um, I'm the old age uh, veteran of the team, really. Um, You're doing, this is a comeback for you. Yeah, isn't it? it I, is. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a comeback. Um, it, it's a, I guess, yeah, an unexpected one. I sort of, I got back into the sport at a very sort of late age. I've done it really unconventionally. I, I went away um, from track and field when I was when I finished up high school and. Decided that there wasn't probably enough to keep me in it at the time and um, needed a bit of time away and um, went and did a teaching degree and became a PE teacher. Still a teacher here on the Gold Coast at the wow. moment. And um, yeah, teaching out there at Varsity College. Shout out to all the students and that out there. Get them to listen. Um, yeah. And then so... You'll, they'll never be as good as you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think that was part of why I got back into it. I was, I was pretty keen to... Um, sort a few of them out on the touch footy field when they were going past me. So I thought, oh, I better throw the shoes on and see, you know, if I've got anything left to give. So I got back into wow. the sport at 26 years old and here I am sitting here today at 31, ready to, wow. ready, ready to get into a Commonwealth game. So, so That's can, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you though? Yep. So it sounds like to me you've just done the Nationals yep. and beat, do you, can you beat 21-year-olds or is it any age? Absolutely, yeah. Because, wow. So it's open age. Um, That's a good thing for sport then. Yeah. That a 31-year-old yeah. body is, you know. Yeah. I reckon yeah. It's, a, it's a cool time um, in like sports science. Absolutely, mate. Like, yeah, I think, you know, the, I think um, it's like, it's almost like 31 is the new 21 or something like that really. Like, I, I think the way that, um, you know, they can, we can sort of look after ourselves and, and, and with a good team around you, obviously, just... Um, it's been, yeah, it's been very sort of like um, uplifting for me that I've been able to keep the body in there. There's definitely been some um, days where, you know, I've woken up feeling like a 51-year-old though, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a magic thing. Yeah. I'm just wondering, because you do 400-metre sprints. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, sorry, I'm not a sports oriented person. That's all right, so, that's all right. But um, is that the same as what, like, Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson and... No, that? so that, those guys, were, you're more sort of 100, 200 runners. Yeah. So you, your most, I guess, um, oh, prevalent guys would be like your Michael Johnson um, yeah. from America. And then just recently, the guy that's broken Michael Johnson's record was um, Wade Van Niekirk, um, a South African guy. So... Yeah, that was huge at the last Olympic. He, he broke um, Johnson's record, which had been, you know, there since '96, and um, for oh, a lot wow. of people, thought it wouldn't it wouldn't be broken. And um, really unfortunate, um, uh, Van Eekirk was set to come out for the Commonwealth Games as a representative for South Africa. Got involved in, a, I, I believe it was like a, you know, it was a touch footy game with some politicians and stuff. Tore his ACL. Um, so, but that's good for wow. you. Oh, you don't want to run against the best, though. You want to run against the <laughs> you best. You do that's want that, to. That's out there. Yeah, 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 but yeah. We don't even know who his name is. No, yeah. I know. Anyway, you know. So, so um, do you think you could beat his record though if he was here? No, absolutely not. No, no I'm not. Not not quite at but that. But do you think running running against him would have beat your own personal record? Yeah, I think yeah. You want to run against the best, and it always does bring out the best in you. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Every time you sort of rise to. And have good people around you, not only in racing but in training. It's it's so important to to try and push yourself forward like that. And yeah, ultimately it, it does better you. Yeah. Hey, that new track. Did you break any personal records or anything? Yeah, so I managed to managed to run in um, a couple of PBs over the weekend. It was it's harder in the in a. That's comp- a personal best, Ricker. Yeah, sorry, a little <laughs> Thank bit. Thank you. Of, you know, a little acronym there for you. AC PBs. Yeah. What's uh, AC? Yeah, oh, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Yeah, turn up the AC. <laughs> Sorry, that, that one was funny. I took you guys seriously yeah. there. ACDC, that's a band. I know that. No, it's a sewing machine, isn't it? No, it's a power outlet. It's electricity, yeah. something like yeah. that. I think yeah. it's both, yeah. <laughs> Your fringe just got blonder. Fully. Yeah, keep going, sorry. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to make a good impression and you've just ruined yeah, it. Yeah, no. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. So I cut, read a couple, read a couple of PBs, um, which means you're getting faster. Getting faster. So there's every chance you can beat the South African oh. bloody yeah. loser on his way down. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll edit that. <laughs> he's, he's, only, he's only got one. Yeah, he's got one knee. And he'll probably still beat us. But anyway. But how old's the South African dude? Oh, I think he's about twenty-three. Oh, you know, is he? 22, oh, yeah. oh you know, sorry, prime mate. of his life. But there's a little bit of a yeah. handicap there, though, yeah. isn't there? Well, oh wow! Well. Yeah. Imagine if you were racing him when you were twenty. Were you still doing it when you were twenty-three? No. So I was d- just, d- you know, just teaching. That's what all, all I was doing at that point. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just. Just mucking around in, in – actually, I was mucking around mostly just – I didn't even had a couple of uh, English math classes and whatever they'd given me at the time. So it's only yeah. uh, it's only been recently that I've sort of gone into the sort of PE world. And uh, – sorry, that's another – I just realised something. Physical, physical education. Physical, physical education. See, I knew that because yeah. I did go to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate – or HP. I said we should have HP now. Hey, is What's it, HP? Health. health and physical yeah. education. Why is the H – Sorry, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, let's no. Take it back. Let's My mind just goes blown. <laughs> so they throw it together now. You got to do the the health just as important as the as the physical education. So is the health like what is he- like diet diet? Yeah, diet? everything. Yeah. You know, depending on your, from the age levels as they go up, everything from you know hygiene and and self esteem and all the wellness stuff as well now yes. so like really incorporate into your HPE and then and then as you get um, through your senior PE, you do stuff like. Sports psychology, and you do um, your, your nutrition, um, physiology, anatomy, oh. all that sort of stuff as well. Do you oh, remember, yeah. do you, Murray? Do you remember being in high school? I did. I was no angel. But, and and um, do you remember your PE class? I do remember my PE class. And you yeah. had that, yep. that health bit. We had to go in there. And you're like, yep. oh man, oh man. Has it gotten any better? Uh, not really. Really, it, you know, it's just yeah. not easy to nah. want to learn that stuff nah. when you're in. high Yeah, we got PE. Oh yeah. no, it's. Health or whatever it's called, we're gonna yeah, sit yeah. down. Yeah, fully I eight. And why is he still wearing those sports shorts? Yeah, like trying to, and, you know, <laughs> trying to bribe your teacher that you know. Oh no, sir, we can. Yeah. We, we've got it done. You know, let's go out. We're, we're ready to go out. Or you know, see now I'm on the opposite side. I got to try and convince the kids that like, right, you get through your work. Yeah. You know, the quicker you get through your work, the quicker we're out there, sort yeah. of thing. So you know what though, at least they can believe they, you I hope now. They're not listening now. Hey, well, here's the thing. Oh, God, no, they weren't listening. No, you know what? You know what? Like, <laughs> not with some of our guests. I remember. Come on, come on Drew. No, I'm going to get back at it. No I'm, no, I'm kind of coming down to the same level as you. Maybe. I don't know. No, but I remember when I was in school, all the girls would have a crush on the PE teacher. And then as a mother of students, all the mums would have a secret crush on the PE <laughs> right, teacher yeah. as well. Yeah, my wife's There's the same. There's just something about PE something. teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is, is there's... When you you didn't realise when you were a kid, but in schools there's only like six blokes, yeah, and lots of the true. teachers are all ladies, <laughs> yeah. and they all here's a whole bunch of mums like there they are. <laughs> There's the only men in the vicinity. We meet, we need to fight for his attention. <laughs> the parent teacher it's really interview roster is just stacked up, and you, you know you don't get rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least going back to the thing, at least like a massive advantage they they have to believe you now, you know. Yeah. And, but do you, yeah. okay, here's a question for you. With all the stuff, like you've just come from uh, Lou Ferguson's recovery bar, yeah, right. So we'll get into that. What you do training wise a bit later, yeah, yeah. But she's she's a guru for, um, you know, do the textbooks that you have to teach the kids. Do you find yourself going, oh man, this is just yeah, I'll, not I'll, up to date with I'll, yourself? Absolutely. Like, I mean, I think you're like you've always got to take the information and take it somewhere, somewhere where it's you know there's something something hands on, something where they feel like they can apply it. If you if you're not I don't think if I think if you're purely in an information sort of you know world, it, it just doesn't sink in. Like yeah. you've got to be you've got to be doing it. To, yeah. And I think like um, one good thing about you know PE in general is that, that you can find it tends to be a little bit easier to find a way to practically apply it. You know when you're sitting there with a uh, you know a math C equation, you know I sort of feel for those te- teachers when they're like, well, you know make it relevant guys make it you know sort of applicable to the students and it's like well but it's a lot easier when you're talking about diet or you, and you know, I'll, you know say we're doing a nutrition le- lesson it's like right oh, pull out your lunch box let's have a look and we'll do food oh, yeah. labels or something like that and or if you're talking about energy systems right well, let's get out on the basketball court and you're doing this skill you're doing that skill like let's see how you know the human body sort of works so i think that's the key if it's just textbook it just it you know it's in one ear and out the other so yeah. you hey, what are, and, okay come on oh sorry oh, go no, Rick. no no really no well because um teaching methods have changed too over the years haven't they because yeah. they realize that um children learn 
in all, all people in general learn in different like some people learn yeah, through absolutely. listening others yeah. learn through visual you know stimulation and others yep. have to actually like do something yeah yeah absolutely What's it called? kinesthetic yeah learn. kinesthetic yeah. learning yeah and and the other big one that they've gone through in in the sort of the recent years is like uh, coming